Metropolitan Stadium was one of the many multi-purpose stadiums of its day. Its construction was a reflection of the many people moving to the suburbs during the era, being located in Bloomington, just south of downtown. This is Metropolitan Stadium, Rise and Fall. Metropolitan Stadium opened in 1956 as the home of the Minneapolis Millers, a double-A baseball team. Though this was the only tenant at first, the real hope was that the stadium would be able to get a Major League Baseball team, with several MLB exhibition games being played there in its early years. Many teams discussed the possibility of moving there, however it was in 1960 that the Washington Senators would announce a move to Minnesota, and in 1961 they would begin play at Metropolitan Stadium as the Minnesota Twins. That same year, the NFL would expand to Minnesota, establishing the Minnesota Vikings franchise. Though the stadium was more primarily a baseball stadium, they made it work for the next 20 years. With two major professional sports teams playing in it, the stadium seemed like it was a success. However, discussions over a replacement began to pick up roughly a decade into the two teams' leases into the stadium. Capacity, infrastructure, and weather issues were all motivating factors, and a short 15-year lease for both teams gave them leverage. And after only 20 years of use by both teams, they would vacate, moving downtown and indoors to the Metrodome in 1982. Its story does not end here though, as instead of a timely demolition, it would be abandoned for three years. It would fall into disrepair and become an eyesore, but was finally demolished in 1985. The land would be put to good use though, becoming Mall of America, opening in 1992, attracting tens of millions every year. Though this stadium is gone, there are some reminders of its presence there, with a plaque marking the original home plate spot, a plaque marking the original 50-yard line, and a seat on one of the walls, which marks the stadium's longest home run. Though the land is no longer a stadium, it is still a place for many to gather and have a good time. Though Metropolitan Stadium isn't remembered as one of the greats, and it had to host some pretty cold games, it did get Minnesota two major pro teams, not to mention a concert from the most famous band in history. Its memory does live on in many Minnesotans. Thank you for watching.